Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make Arduino PLC using Arduino Nano and we are going to program this PLC with open PLC software. This PLC has four digital inputs, four digital outputs and four analog inputs. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by NextPCB, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturer specialized in PCB and assembly industry over 15 years. To order your PCB, just go to nextpcb.com and click on instant code. Then upload your Gerber files. and select all required parameters such as material, layer count, board type, PCB size, quantity, PCB thickness, solder mask color, silk screen color, and a few more options. After that, click on add to card. Now select your order and click on checkout. Now add your shipping address and select your desired payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. So this is our Arduino Nano PLC. It has four opto-isolated digital inputs, four relay outputs, and four analog inputs. Zero to five volt analog signal can be used with this PLC. I have created PCBs for this PLC and ordered them from Next PCB. So these are the PCBs, I have received them in just 5 days. Now let's put all the components onto the PCB and solder them.
So I've placed all the components onto the PCB and soldered them. Now let's start OpenPLC software and create an example program to control digital outputs with digital inputs. So the program is completed. Now let's click on upload and select the board type, which is Arduino Nano in our case. Now select the COM port. Now click on IO config and make these changes to inputs and outputs. Now click on transfer and then click on transfer to PLC. And our program is uploaded. So this program is working perfect. Now let's make a program using analog inputs. So this is the program for the analog inputs. You can find the link for the example programs in the description below. Now let's upload this program to the PLC. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.